Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Japan, I'm going to be talking to you about is it okay to study abroad in Tokyo in your 30s? <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So, if you guys don't know anything about me, uh, hi, my name's Andy, and I'm a study abroad student here at Lakeland University of Japan, out here in Tokyo, Japan, Shinjuku to be more specific, and uh, I'm 34 years old, 34 sai in Japanese. So I am definitely outside uh, normal college age, and I'm also a veteran too, so I'm studying here on the GI Bill. So again, that also makes me uh, more of an outlier. But as far as answering the question of, you know, is it weird to study abroad, you know, in your 30s and up, you know, I'm not just going to cap it at 30. But for me, and I can only really speak to, to this school in particular, um, I got to say that uh, this school has been the most um, welcoming for me <laughs> out here because um, when I was studying at uh, in Michigan, uh, for those who don't know, I studied at uh, three schools prior to coming out to Lakeland. I studied at Western, Michi Western Michigan University and uh, Kalamazoo Valley, uh, both in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Then I also studied at uh, Fayetteville Technical Community College out in Fayetteville, North Carolina. And of, you know, of all the schools I've studied at, uh, Lakeland has been the most accommodating. It's been the most open and friendly. And it's weird because like when I was studying at the other schools, I felt kind of weird hanging out with other students because I'm like way older than they are. So I kind of felt like, you know, hey, how's it going, fellow kids? You know, it just, it felt weird, you know. But uh, the other students don't really mind it. And they, you know, I was talking with uh, another exchange student. He's from Sweden. And he says that, you know, a lot of the Western students, you know, are older than college age anyway. And I think he said he was like 25, 26. So it's kind of common out here, especially. And, uh, you know, there's also a couple other fellow GI Bill students here as well. So uh, it's definitely uh, not that uncommon. <laughs> I guess, but uh, you know, if you're worried about studying abroad out here in your 30s and up, um, I wouldn't really worry about it. You know, for me, age is just a number, and uh, you know, you can definitely get in your own head about your age. You know, thinking, you know, I don't want to hang out with all these kids. You know, they'll think I'm old and weird and okay, boomer and blah blah blah. But again, you just gotta get out of your own fucking head. <laughs> Sorry for the language, but you gotta get out of your own head. And uh, just get out there, you know? Even though you are older, you're also a student. So, you know, don't be, uh, you know, try to get rid of all the hang-ups that you have with uh, your age versus uh, other students. You know, just get out there, make some friends, and uh, you'll be able to enjoy your experience a lot more. And that goes across the board, not just here at Lakeland. Um, so, yeah, that's <laughs> pretty much all I wanted to say. Um, in this video. So, with that said, guys, this is the Andy Sign. Sign for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. And so, if you have any questions about studying abroad out here in Tokyo, make sure to leave them in the comments down below in the boop de boop, and I will do my best to answer them and put them in uh, upcoming videos and stuff. So, yeah. All right. Bye, guys.